Today I am reviewing my newest custom gaming and editing computer. The power of this computer is amazing. With the Intel i5-6600K, the Asus GTX 980 custom modded white, and the 16GB DDR4 running at 2666MHz, we can take advantage of the most recent games, running at 60 plus frames per second. Let's take a look at this bad boy. The front panel of this case is open, with air filters easy to remove. I'm using the Corsair SP120 Quiet Edition for air intake. We also have two dry bays available. Who uses them anyways? Take a look at these beautiful fans, they produce plenty of air to the case. And back here is the cable management. Alright, let's take a look at the back of the computer. Starting with the motherboard connectors, we got two USB 2.0, HDMI and display port, two USB 3.0, APS2 connector for all mouses and keyboards, one USB Type-C, one USB 3.1, the Ethernet cable, and the input and output of the audio. Moving down to the graphics card, we got three display ports, one HDMI 2.0, and the DVI connector. And then at the bottom, we got the power supply. At the top of the case, we have a magnetic air filter. Very nice. At the front I.O. panel, there is a power and reset buttons, two USB 3.0, the microphone and headphone input jacks. Here is the 120GB SSD for Windows 10, and the 1TB Western Digital 7200 RPM mechanical hard drive for games and storage. Alright, for the motherboard, I am using the ASUS C170 AR. To cool down the i5-6600K, I'm using this amazing all-in-one water cooling kit from First Player. It's the SS240 8240mm radiator, the pump RPM it's 3200, and I'm using the Fractal Design Ventory Static Pressure Fans, 120mm. Temperatures are simply great, and I will put them on the screen in a little bit. The ASUS GTX 980 is modded as well. I have removed the green color from the logo and painted the back plate as well. The look of it is beautiful, with the sleeve cables and white cable comms. As I always do in all my builds, I add a fan behind the graphics card to multiply the air. Right here I have the 140mm fan from Corsair, and I want to be able to hit the graphics card, the RAM, and the radiator fans. The 24 pin cable for the motherboard is also sleeve white with cable comms. And here's my Corsair Dominator 16GB DDR4 running at 2666. For the power supply, I always use the best, EBGA 750G2 80 Plus Gold Certified. For air exhaust, I'm also using the Corsair SP120 Quiet Edition, same as the front intake fans. For this build, I have inserted an amazing RGB strip with a remote control to change the lighting effect of the computer. You are not limited to one single color. You can custom create your own colors as well, and many different effects. The sensor receiver for the RGB remote control, I have installed it right on top of the Corsair SP120 intake fan in front of the case. You really can't see it when the panel is closed. Alright, now that we have taken a look at the glorious looking cosmetics of this computer, let's take a look at the performance and how it performs in games, what frames per second do we get, and what is the stability of this computer. <laughs> Don't forget to get your wallet ready because this computer, that's right, it's for sale buddy.
Well, you guys, you guys have witnessed the frames per second at 1920 by 1080 and 2160 by 1440. Uh, those are the resolutions that I recommend. But if you have a 1920 by 1080p, <laughs> the frames per second are much higher. You know, you've seen that. Uh, I personally play on a 1920 by 1080. Those frames per second are racking on my screen. I have tested a 1440p and it looks great, so I am going to buy a monitor in the near future but for right now i am rocking a 1920 by 1080 so guys i hope that you like this video like i said my overclock is a 4.6 stable i have overclocked the cpu like that because it's the sweet spot for this chipset honestly guys i set it up to 4.7 and um, the voltage was a little higher than when i have it right here but randomly like every hour every two hours it would crash on me so it was not stable so I lowered it down to 4.6 and that is the overclock where the computer is very stable now the performance test and the stability test I have run it for about eight hours overnight when I go to sleep I, I uh, started the stress test and I go to sleep wake up and the computer is still stress testing so this computer is very very stable guys and it's just a beast of a computer and as well is beautiful i'll see you guys later stay tuned stay subscribed i have so much more coming up more computer builds i have i am doing uh customer uh, builds as well so guys i have more greatness coming up i have uh, there's a company starting to release uh, new keyboards and new mouses so i'm going to be reviewing their products i'm not going to reveal who they are until i get the products into my hand so i am excited for that as well I have two mouses that came in today. I got my EVGA 980 Ti on the way as well from New Egg. Ah, so much. <laughs> Guys, I'll see you later. Stay tuned, stay subscribed. Don't forget to go into my gaming channel. I have a whole bunch of gameplays in there with commentaries. Bye bye.